Hey everybody, this is Jesse. Welcome to OldPocketKnives.com. Alright guys, so today I wanted to show you a cool jackknife that I have in my collection. Um, I acquired it with uh, another group of old early American knives, um, including some Russells and Hollies and uh, other early American makers. But this one I thought was really cool because of its shape. Uh, the pattern I don't normally see. Uh, it's called a swayback jack or a curved jack and um, jack knives typically have a couple of blades just like the arrangement here but uh, what makes it a little bit unique is uh, this sort of curve in its spine here. Um, as you can see it's not straight across like um, the typical jack knife you might see. Uh, but rather it has that sort of uh, curvature in it. So kind of a neat shape overall to it. Uh, this knife measures three and a half inches closed, actually three and, a, three, and three quarters inches closed. And uh, it has a spear point blade. You can see it has uh, what's called a match, match striker pull where it's not uh, just kind of straight across, but rather it has these... Um, kind of ridges in there and uh, that was supposed to create enough friction to light a match if you were to um, you know strike one across there so that's kind of cool uh, it also has the H and B whom Humison and Beckley is the name of the company uh, you can see the stamp if I there you go H and B manufacturing company New Britain Connecticut one of the early makers um, in New England uh, started in I think 1853 and uh, they stopped making knives uh, when they sold to a company called uh, Landers, Frary & Clark um, in, I think, 1912 or something like that. So uh, this knife is uh, definitely uh, an earlier one. Uh, you really don't see these knives uh, after 1900, so it's probably pre-1900, but obviously post-1853 probably in the 1880, 1890 range or something like that, if I had to venture a guess. Um, genuine stag handles, uh, really nice, I like those. And on the back has the same stag handles as well, genuine stag deer antler handles. Um, very cool, very neat knife, I just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, I have just another quick view of it closed, it's a pretty neat looking knife, so anyway. There you go. All right, thanks again for tuning in to the video. Hope you learned something about this pattern called the Swayback Jack uh, or the Curve Jack. Uh, check out my website if you have some time and uh, see what you can find on there. All right, guys, have a great one. See ya.